Back at Viking practice with just two weeks before the first game, September 3rd at Gelled Win. And Mike, the Viking defense gave up a lot of big plays, yards, and points last year. And they made a big change with one of their premier players. Tell our viewers about that. Well, the Vikings did. And the keys to this year, according to Nigel Burton, stop the run. Everyone uh, knows the Vikings need to do that. Number two, create more turnovers. And uh, one big change that the Vikings have made this year is they've moved three-year starter Deshaun Shedd from cornerback to safety. They're the reason for that, get him into the middle of the field, give him an opportunity to make more plays. Uh, he was getting isolated by opponents out on one side of the field at cornerback, teams throwing away from him, and with the talent he's got, the Vikings need him in the middle of, of as many plays as they can get. When you look at that defensive backfield with just a couple exceptions, the Vikings taller than I've ever seen them, and that should bode well. It should. Uh, David Ross at a corner, Aaron Kinsey, a new corner coming in about six foot one. Carrington Jones going to be pushing for playing time this year, redshirt freshman. He's about six foot two. Uh, it's nice to have bigger guys on the outside. Uh, Mike Williams also returns there uh, at cornerback and has looked very good so far this fall. Has a lot of experience now as a junior. And uh, then over at the safety position, of course, Deshaun Shedd at six foot two, uh, Manoa Latu, six foot one, returning also has looked vastly improved this year. So the Vikings have some big and athletic defensive backs. An experienced group of linebackers coming back for Portland State, but we know as the season goes along, those guys get beat up. So talk about the returners and some new guys that can fill in in case of injury or will just be in the rotation. Well, the Vikings do have some pretty experienced linebackers returning. Of course, Ryan Rao, a uh, third year or pardon me, fourth year player, uh, top tackler the last two years for the Vikings at middle linebacker is back again. Uh, Joel Sisler at an outside linebacker spot and Shane Melbo who came on and played very well in the second half of the season last year. Those three very experienced players return but Nigel Burton is excited about a couple of newcomers. Uh, Khalil Bass is expected to have a huge impact and uh, Ian Sless who was a red shirt last year also looking very good and those two guys are so versatile uh, according to Coach Burton and he can move them around uh, to different uh, linebacker positions. So that's, that's a great value to know you got five top quality linebackers right there, as well as another, uh, a number of other young players. A lot of defensive linemen, six lettermen returned for Portland State, but you know you need more than that. The Vikings excited about redshirt freshmen, but they're looking for that one big run stopper. Did they get it? Well, they hope they got it in Miles Wade, who uh, has graduated from Texas Tech. He's a Portlander. He's moved back to Portland. He's got one year of eligibility remaining, and uh, he has come to Portland State to play that year of football. He's a big, strong man. He'll play defensive tackle this year, and it should have a huge impact on run stopping. He'll go in there with uh, the returners. The freshman uh, last year, Julius Moore, who had a tremendous year. Alika Vallese, also a defensive tackle. That's a good uh, group of three guys right there and then a number of returning defensive ends Carl Summer who had a good season last year Jack Forbes also returns and the Vikings have others in Bryant Long and uh, they have some uh, red shirt freshmen coming in Brandon Tobias who looks uh, fantastic uh, very uh, talented player very quick off the edge not a big man but uh, the coaches love his energy on the field Vincent Johnson a defensive tackle also uh, a, a red shirt coming in and uh, he should have an impact as well We've had the opportunity to tour Geldwin a couple of times together. Our facilities are going to be tremendous for broadcasting, and we know the fans, seats, sight lines, and all the amenities that go with it are going to be like nothing Viking football has ever seen. Well, that's very true, and, and the field is so much more intimate now. Uh, if you remember the old stadium configuration now, it's much more intimate, much more closed in with the grandstands on the east side. Do yourself a favor, come out and see a game and see how exciting it can be on that field. You'll be right on top of the play, hear all the action, the hits, and uh, the amenities uh, are greatly upgraded. So it's going to be a tremendous fan experience. September 3rd, 1 o'clock, Geldwin Field, Southern Oregon. We look forward to seeing you there.